fish of the day. Pretty nice. It's about one or two pounds. Sweet. Throw away. This was before I went out to Lake Those Arts and I did a pretty good job out at the lake near me. It was a beautiful day in the morning and I had a great time and here's my chair of Lake well, Those I made Arts. it to Lake of Those Arts. If you you can't really see the lake from there, but at my great uncle's place and this is my guest room at Lake of the Ozarks. Very nice beachy. <laughs> and I have an amazing this is spectacular. And uh, let's keep going. I got some good bait right here. The secret stuff. Sunny stick, super sticky channel cat bait. This works like a charm, and you're gonna see why. And you, I usually use hog wild bait holders. They work great. And uh, you guys will see here in a sec. Um, me trying to catch some good fish. So uh, stay tuned. Hey, look, the sponge is yellow. I'm gonna show you the side of the house and see how it goes. Uh, we're gonna come down here. I don't have you on film. Right, <laughs> no. Yeah, I know. Yeah. She said this was the best spot to chill. Relax. Yep. Look at that. And it's got a view that's amazing. Great view of Lake of those arts. Right on the lake there's their boat dock. Their jet skis, their boat. We're gonna come on down steps. There's my room that we saw earlier. There's the inside of that. I don't know if you can actually open the screen door or not. I haven't been down here since I was 17 and I'm 28 now. So we'll see how this goes. These steps are monstrous. <laughs> this place is beautiful though. We got two barbecue pits. So many ways to go down. I'll take this route. That's my Uncle Bob's bar. <laughs> it looks Bob's Beer 30 is what he calls it. 24 hours in a day, 24 beers in a case. Coincidence? Maybe. <laughs> uh, that's epic. A floating. Beer is proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy. Ben Franklin. <laughs> the only problem I have with alcohol is I'm running low on beer. <laughs> and uh, this is speedboat crashes. Let's see if I can get 
get a close up. He was in the air, he got flown out. I think that's him right there. And then he hit the water up there. And man, I can't believe he survived that. It's crazy. Fifty thousand dollar boat, that's night train one yeah. that he got flung out of. Crazy. Fishing on the lake. I got my GoPro. <laughs> Look at that. It's so beautiful. You know you can take it. It's nibbling. I think I got a little guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's decent size. Put them on a stringer. Oh, you got a live one? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see if I can get get it out without getting the guts out. Let's see. You can see uh, that hook's all the way. I pull that hook out, that guts is coming with it. Uh, where's the live wall? At? <laughs> nice size for eating. Yeah, I told you this stuff works. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your shut up, like your pole holders and everything. That yeah. frog ever worked pretty good? No, I never caught any of them. Oh, wow. Yeah, I got to make me a new noodle. Yeah, got another bite. He's a little fighter. Same size. Yep. <laughs> Brothers and ours. Well, I caught both of them. Uh, just right there. And I'll take the hook off. Them. We'll get a close up. Of them. All right. I think he's a little bigger. Yeah, I can get the 
up with some catfish bait if you want to try it. I think I got another one. Yep. Ah, oh, it's a little guy. <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't be that bad. You think I can get a play off him or no? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I can get that hook out. I can try, but. Basically, their guts are like right there. I got the sponge. I don't know where the hook is though. The guts are like. So basically, at this point, I noticed that the treble hooks were getting caught in the guts, basically. So I switched over to a circle hook after this, so I can get my hooks back and not have a waste of time with trying to, you know, you know, tamper with the the hook and trying to get it out so I cut the line on that one and after I filleted the fish I did try to get the hooks out but uh, they were too caught up in the, the guts to really pull them out without getting hooked so basically I switched to circle hook and it solved all my problems after that and I was grateful that I switched to uh, circle hooks and I had a good time I caught about five fish and then everybody else started catching fish afterwards so it was a great day and you'll see more footage or like uh, right here Let's see <laughs> yeah. 
That's all right. One at the other, number four. That was with a, a regular hook. Regular circle hook. Nice. Oh, it's got a fat belly on that one. Yeah, I can get the hook out of that one. Nice. I don't know why I always put it in my left pocket when I'm right handed. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Right. Are those eggs? Uh, I'd probably let it go if it's pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, uh, it looks like a carp. Oh. Alright, drum, that's a drum. Yeah. Drum aren't good eating from what I hear. Well, they kill everything else, don't they? Oh. No, that's uh... a... Nice. We were just talking about that earlier. <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about a drum. Yeah. yeah. Decent size, bigger than my fish. No, I got it on video. You got it. Oh, come on. You're not supposed to be getting me. I'm no, I didn't get your face or anything. We talked about this. You can do this in the water. You want me to push my Oh, gosh. Well, wait till I get my swim trunks on and you can push oh, me out. Nice size. Yeah, 39 cent minnow. Grandma's got a fish. That's a good size. This made my day and it made me very thankful that I was there with her. This was Night Train 3, uh, one of his bigger boats, and Night Train, Night Train 2 was the pontoon boat with the 454, and Night Train 1 was in the, the earlier. And he was having electrical issues, so we couldn't get it to turn over, but it was a great time, nevertheless. Lightning hit by the boat dock, that's why he was having electrical issues, but uh, we should get that uh, fixed here soon. And here's a picture that she sent to me that was near uh, Lake of Those Arts that was beautiful. And we went on a ride up to his garage.
So that's great grandpa and he made this pontoon boat? He made it. He made both those boats. Oh wow. Uh... Yeah, see ya. Sorry my uh, camera crapped out on me, but I had an amazing time at the lake, so I missed some of the footage at the end, but uh, it was a great time, great view, and just overall, I had a wonderful time, and when we left, they caught a 17-inch smallmouth bass on that 37-cent minnow, and overall, uh, you guys, thanks for watching my vlog, and more to come.